Hey guys, welcome to the 41st lecture of our bootcamp series. In this video, we will try to understand that how MVC architecture work in Rails and how, what is the MVC architecture in general. So MVC architecture is can be known as uh, model view controller and it is the pattern for the architecture of a software application and it separates an application into three following components model. The model is responsible for handling data and business logic. Okay. And it can be represented by active record in rails. Okay. And the controller makes the model data available to the view. So it can display the data to the user and it saves or updates user data to the model and the model is represented into the rails by action controller directory. Okay. And views is the presentation layer which is responsible for handling user interface objects and the presentation layer so whenever you uh, request uh, whenever you make a request from the browser the request is come to the web server and then server loads the controller and then controller goes to the database and fetch uh, the requested uh, data from models or database and then send it back to the views and the view layer uh, display that uh, response on the browser whether it is successful or not so view layer is res responsible for handling the user interface and presentation layer and view can be a uh, view is represented by action view library okay now look at the diagram here here you can see uh, the first step is the browser okay the browser can be thought of as a client so whenever you make a request to the client from the client the request first come to the web server and the server loads the router okay where the router identifies that which controller in your application will serve this request and which action of that controller is responsible for serving that request okay once the request comes to the controller then controller decides uh, whether to go to the model or not okay when you go to the model then model will perform the uh, desired CRUD operation using the database and then send the response back to the controller and then controller send that response to the view okay and then view render or redirect that response on the browser so this is how rails mvc works now let's try to understand this thing practically in our student resource controller so open your sublime okay here we will go step by step so we will first consider the index section so let's open the index page of the students okay so here is the index page of the students let's refresh the page and First make a space on the server and now let's refresh the page again. So here you can see whenever uh, as soon as you refresh the page the request is coming to the web server here. You can see started get students. So the HTTP verb associated with that request is the get or you can say that uh, uh, loading all the students and listing all the students is a type of get request. Okay. Now router identified that uh, this action uh, this request can be served by student controllers index section so the left hand side of the hash icon here is the controller name and the right hand side of the hash symbol is the action name into that controller now in the controller you can see that uh, i have run a query here that is for loading all the students from the database and now in the terminal you can see that uh, as I come to the controller it has uh, executed a query select students star from students okay or select all students from students now once the query load the data come to the controller and now controller has sent this data back to the app views students index.html it means it uh, the student controllers index section sent the collection of all the students to the index.html.erb or its view layer 
okay and now the view has been rendered using students index.html.erb inside the application layout and this rendering is performed on the browser and now you can see the student table here same let's try for the new action let's click on the new action okay so when i click on the new action you can see that uh, here is a form that is open now come to the terminal so with new action you cannot see that any query performed here why because uh, your controller will go to the database only when there is a crud operation is performed okay uh, when uh, either you create a new record then you are performing create operation so your controller will go to the model and uh, if you try to read a resource like show edit and update that means you are your controller will go to the database or sorry model and then database and if you try to update or delete a record then your controller will go back to the model and then model forward it to database and then perform the crud but in the new you can see here that we are only instantiating the student model so for instantiation purpose your controller will not go to the model with that request okay so that's why here we haven't performed any query but you can see that uh, as soon as your request come to the new action of the student's controller uh, a view has been rendered in on the browser that is students new.html.erb okay now let's save an student provide some detail here let's say ravi sing the v at the red rr.com now make some space here and when you click on create student okay you can see that a student has been created successfully and you can see that the request is what started post okay the path is students but the http verb associated with this request is post and it is processed by the student controllers create action and it is coming with some parameters like uh, authenticity token and uh, the student like a first name last name email and a commit which is the button you have submitted and why uh, now it is going to the model why because we have performed a create operation here so it has run the insert query and it is uh, sending data in to for the model and it is saved into the database now so you can see that transaction has been begun insert query performed and uh, the transaction committed and after committing the transaction the request uh, the controller is redirecting you to localhost colon 3000 slash students it means when you create a resource the uh, post request is come and whenever you do post request you have to redirect your controller to some other action and now it has redirected to the index section of the uh, students controller so you can see just like we see initially that uh, it started get students and processing by students controllers index section and it performed the query to load all the students and the view is rendered at the browser using app views students index.html.erb now let's try to do the same thing for edit okay for edit you can see that uh, it has performed student 7 edit with http verb get and processed by students controllers edit action now you can see that it is coming with the parameter id okay the id of the students which we want to edit and fetch from the database so as we know that uh, edit is a member action and show is also a member action so it requires this query to be performed okay why because we need to face this student from the database first okay so it has opened that now when you click on the edit let's say update its name let's say ship and write here mono and submit it okay so when you submit it you can see that the request is patch type okay the http verb associated with this request is patch and it's come to the come at the route students 7 
and the parameters we are getting here is first name last name email okay and it has initiated a transaction before initiating the transaction it has faced the student from the database okay and then initiated a transaction to update the students and then committed transaction and after committing the transaction it is redirecting on the show page of the students okay and once you redirect then you can see that the request is coming to the students show action so with http verb get and id 7 and at the show page it is also running the query and going to the model okay so you just need to keep in mind that your controller will go to the model only when you require to perform some crud operation from the database unless your model will directly render the response on the view and then view return it to the browser your controller will not touch model if you are instantiating an object or if you are displaying some dummy data or dummy content then your model will not go to the sorry your controller will not go to the model okay now let's try to do with delete as well come here make some space and delete this student when you click delete you can see that the type of request here is delete or you can say the delete http verb is associated with this request now you can see the url of the path is students and id 29 okay and it is coming with the authenticity token and id 29 and uh, First, it has executed the query to fetch the student from the database. Why? Because to delete that students, we need to have that student first. So the controller goes to the model and model goes to the database and find the student with ID 29 and returned it to the controller. And then controller performed another query to delete the student. Okay. Here you can see it has executed the begin transaction and the tra after deleting the student, the transition is committed and once the transaction is committed you can see the request is redirected to the index page of the students and once it is redirected to index another request is coming to the students controller that is get students and again it is processed by the index section of the students controller and a query performed to load all the students and the students index.html.trv is rendered on the browser so this is how mvc works so you can separate uh, uh, the task by layers model is responsible for performing uh, crud operations and uh, handling the data and business logic controller is responsible for communicating uh, to act as a communicator between model and views and view is responsible for handling the presentation layer and in the project directory you can also see that there are three separate separate directories for handling all the things at the code level at controllers app controllers you can handle uh, you can manage all of your controller stuffs and into the model directory you can handle all of the stuffs for your model and in the views you can handle all the stuff for your front end or your presentation layer okay so this is how rails mvc architecture work now let's try to understand on a, again that why why the model is uh, why the controller is not going to the model all the time because when you come to the root page of the application you can see that we are only saying welcome to the rails why because we haven't performed any query or any model operation here okay so when you see at the logs you can see that it is performed by get and this is the symbol for root path and it is processed by the welcome controllers index action as html and once the controller uh, once the request come to the index section of the welcome controller uh, the controller rendering the index template on the browser so this is how the mvc architecture works so I believe that uh, this MVC architecture and explanation is uh, good enough for moving forward and uh, once you practice more and uh, going more deeper with the rails controllers and models and view stuffs 
then you will know or you can understand more things about the MVC architecture in detail. So let's try to explore this uh, topic at your end as well. And uh, that's but that is enough for <laughs> this video. So thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.